Hey, Corbin and Boaz. This book is called Kangaroo for Christmas by James Flora. That's a kangaroo drawing, and he has a ribbon around his neck. I don't know much about kangaroos. Oh, look, there's a little girl. On the day before Christmas, a truck came. It left a big box on the porch. On the box was a card. It said, Merry Christmas to Catherine from Uncle Dingo. Oh, I hope it's full of candy, Catherine said. At the top of the box was a little window. Catherine peeked in. There was something brown and fuzzy inside and it moved. Well, it's too big to be a kitty cat, Catherine said. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Whatever was in the box wanted out. Daddy took the box in the house and opened it. Hop, 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 out jumped a kangaroo. Hop, 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 hop. It bounced all over the room, knocking down chairs and lamps. Oh my, isn't she pretty? Catherine laughed and clapped her hands. She's just exactly what I've always wanted. I'll call her Adelaide and she'll be my best friend. Mm. Corbin, did you see that? I almost turned the page here from the center of the book and then I remembered when you have a big book, you always go out to the edge and turn the page and that way we don't hurt the book. Catherine got her hairbrush and brushed Adelaide's shiny brown hair from the tips of her ears all the way down to the end of her long jumpy tail. Now Adelaide and I are going to visit grandma, she said to her mother. She tied a woolly scarf around Adelaide's neck it's a very cold day for kangaroos. Adelaide smiled, twitched her tail, and hopped out the door. It looks like Catherine's daddy is reading the newspaper, and Catherine might play the piano. Oh, and look, there's a family picture, but it doesn't have Adelaide in the picture, does it? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <clears throat> While Adelaide hopped, Catherine sang. Just then a big dog came along and he barked at Adelaide. Woof, woof. Oh, it scared Adelaide. She'd never seen such a big dog before. High into the air she leaped. Then she hopped down the street at top speed. Not so fast, Adelaide, said Catherine but Adelaide was too frightened to slow down. She hopped faster and faster. She jumped over the heads of people. She hopped down the middle of the street. Autos honked their horns and screeched their brakes. The policemen shouted. The noise scared Adelaide more than ever, so she hopped on top of the cars. Catherine held her arms around Adelaide's neck and held on tight. Mm -hmm. What kind of cars do we see, Corbin? There's a delivery truck, a fire truck, a truck that carries cars. Oh, he's carrying Christmas trees. And look, Adelaide's just jumping over all of them. Boing, boing. Hop, hop, smash, dingle, 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 dingle. Through a window they went. Splash, they plopped into a bathtub where Mr. Zwicky was taking a bath. Hop, through the door, scrunch, onto Mrs. Zwicky's dining room table. Hop, hop, crash, out the window. Catherine had mashed potatoes in her ears and gravy in her hair. Adelaide, Adelaide, please go more slowly. But Adelaide could not slow down. She was too frightened. Corbin, have you noticed the pictures in the book? Have you noticed, Boaz? This, these two pages have color pictures based on what you saw on the last page. Do you think this next page is going to be color or black and white? Well, let's look back. Oh, 
this page is black and white. This page was color. Black and white. Color. What do you think it's going to be? Uh, I think you're right. It's black and white. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Adelaide hopped right into the middle of a grocery store. Smash, crash, soap flakes on chocolate milk flew in all directions. Tin cans rolled around and sausages hit the ceiling. Catherine was just about to say, we are dreadfully sorry, but pickles and cracker crumbs flew into her mouth. Look at that. She couldn't say a word. Her mouth was full of pickles and cracker crumbs. Look, it's a color page. Hop, hop, hop. Through the bakery they flew. Adelaide got a cake for a hat and donuts for her tail. Look, there's the donuts on her tail. Oh, and look, I wonder what that is. Jump, jump, jump. They bounced from the bakery into a toy shop. Oh, that's what that is. Looks like a little stuffed teddy bear, maybe. Adelaide landed on roller skates in the toy shop and kazoom, she rolled through the checker game and <clears throat> the electric chains. Kaplow, all of the talking dolls fell on their heads and the teddy bears got mixed in with the dump trucks. So first they were in the bakery <clears throat> and then they zoomed through the toy shop. <coughs> Excuse me and turned everything inside out. Look, oh, there's the cake on her head. Oh my goodness, Adelaide is making a mess. Screenk, they skated out of the toy store so fast that Catherine almost fell off. Adelaide, Adelaide, Catherine spoke sharply. You must slow down and act like a lady. And Adelaide did. She slowed down nice and ladylike right in front of a great big truck. Honk, honk. The truck driver blasted his horn and Adelaide almost jumped out of her skin. She was so scared again. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, did you notice she has roller skates on still? She's hopping on roller skates, boys. Over the truck, she leaped right onto the telephone wires. Hop, hop, hippity hop, 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 hippity hop. <clears throat> Adelaide skated along those wires like a scared birdie. It made all of the telephone calls people were making sound very hoppy. Hello, hop, mother. May I hop, go up to the movies? Hop, with George? Hop. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry to cough in your story. There's Grandma's house, Catherine pointed. We must slow down. We are on our way to visit with Grandma. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Over the cows, through the pigs, and feet first into a pan of Christmas taffy that was cooling on Grandma's porch. Look at that. And hop up on top of grandma's old electric automobile with the plush seats and blue curtains on the windows. <clears throat> grandma ran out of her house. And I don't know about you, <coughs> but all of these white, di white dots make me think it might be snowing. And look, there's snow on the house. What do you think? Goodness gracious me, she said. What are you doing on top of my car, Catherine? And you've jumped in my Christmas taffy, too. It wasn't me that hopped in the taffy. It was Adelaide. She was frightened by the truck horns. Catherine tried to coax Adelaide down, but Adelaide simply wouldn't move. She does look scared, doesn't she? She's stuck to the roof, Catherine said. She's got taffy on her feet. Well, perhaps that's all for the best, said Grandma. Now we can drive her home and she won't get into any more trouble.
That sounds like a very wise grandma. They hadn't gone very far when a big trunk honked its horn. Adelaide squeaked with fright and started to hop, even though she was stuck to the roof. Soon, Grandma's car began to jiggle and jump. Can you imagine, boys? A kangaroo on top of your car making it jiggle and jump? Oh, Adelaide, please stop, said Grandma. But Adelaide was too frightened. She hopped harder and harder and higher, and so did the car. Look, even the animals are shocked to see a car hopping in the air. Everyone dropped his bundles and ran. No one had seen an automobile hop down the street. It scared everyone. For heaven's sake, it scared Grandma and Catherine. Oh dear, said Grandma. I do hope I can steer. They whizzed around policemen and taxi cabs. They hopped over mailboxes and fire plugs and Grandma steered all the way to Catherine's house. She did not hit a single thing. Daddy poured warm water on Adelaide's feet and melted the taffy. Adelaide hopped into the house and lay on the couch with her feet in the air. Her feet hurt and she was tired. Catherine covered her with a blanket and kissed Adelaide goodnight. I do hope Santa Claus will bring some nice boots for her sore feet and some birch leaves to eat. <clears throat> and that's exactly what Santa Claus brought to Adelaide. Boots and birch leaves. <coughs> and what did he bring for Catherine? Do you know what this is? It's a pogo stick. He brought Catherine a pogo stick so she would never have to ride on Adelaide's back ever again. The end. I have to be honest. I've never read a story that had alternating pages of color and black and white. That was pretty neat. And I like these dots of snow. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys. And next time you go riding in the car, see if you can make it go hippity hop, hippity hop. <laughs>